All right, seems like everything is good to go. All right, so um, again, these are gonna be just short, quick Bitcoin updates on videos. So you'll be getting these uh, either like, you know, twice or three times a week, maybe even five times a week, depending on uh, what's going on. And the other options, it's also charts. And again, you know, on the Discord, feel free to comment and actually go further and ask questions, okay? So we're starting off right now, I am, in Europe, so my time is a little bit different. For, so for those who are in you know, uh, America or Asia, so I'm like right in the middle. So some of you are still sleeping in the Americas and some of you are probably headed to bed in the Asia countries. So that's why you know this is like actually a good time right now because I have both sides of the market. And you know, uh, UTC is usually what a lot of it is based off of, uh, which is London time, right? So right now I'm going to go over what the market looks like. And I don't know what why this is up here. Um, I think I might because I have it twice. Let me see. I'm going to remove all my indicators. Uh, okay. Yeah, and then I'm going to re-install re, uh, them. Because for some reason they um they're not showing up on the other ones. I really need to upgrade because I can only do five, which is actually a bummer. Um, now, okay, so they've been telling me. Okay, so let's go ahead and look at the one hour. Now I'm gonna enlarge this so you can see it better. Okay. Now, so on the one hour, right? Um, don't really care too much about uh, volume right now. I mean, it, it does help. Um, so what's going to happen most likely because the volume is getting pushed down. So I do see a bounce. So what's going to happen usually is uh, once the selling pressure gets squeezed, there's just not enough room for more selling, right? I mean, you, you can't just keep selling till it goes unless Bitcoin goes to like you know zero again, which I highly, highly doubt it. So right now, what I'm waiting for, and actually a lot of uh, traders are right now is, uh, you know, it seems like we have held support or at least that's what it's showing us. Now, I can't confirm that for sure. You know, you can't confirm nothing for sure unless it's already happened. So uh, what I'm doing right now is I'm still wait uh, patiently waiting. Now, Bitcoin, um, let me move this again. Bitcoin has been known to surprise us from many times. So if I put in my um, fib, right? So what I'm um, actually, um, uh, well, actually, that's not it. Okay, we can, we can leave that one. Um, we'll go back. So right now, what I'm actually waiting for is the psychological number right here. I'm going to zoom in so you guys can see a little bit better, right? So if you can see by this, uh, depending on which triangle you look at, right, it, it's pretty much a um, either a symmetrical triangle or a right uh, descending triangle, right, from here, it's descending, right? So what I actually see, what it can mostly do is that it's most likely going to attack up here to about the 8,000 range, right? And if we break this right here, uh, I wish I can have, okay. I'll have to exit off just to uh, insert. I don't know why this is not inserted. Um, yeah, that should be like definitely in there, right? So we really gotta watch for this area right here because if you look at the support and resistance, right? So, okay, that's not the noise I, okay. So you can see right now, so there's uh, quite a good resistance here at about 70, um, 7,900. Uh, but our next resistance really is going to be at around. Um, so right now, you can tell, right? Uh, so it's going to be right around probably at around this area, right? 7,000, 6,800. So we need to break that first for me in order to be more... Um, Let's just say uh, confident for uh, Bitcoin to go up. So I'm going to put in uh, right here, right? 
so if we go a little bit closer yeah i'm in budapest so there, there's a lot of noise working here so i think this microphone is good enough to actually eliminate that noise uh, but we'll see but yeah you know i, I can't control that <laughs> so you just have to deal with it so if you can read this right now right so based on from our previous uh, higher higher low right uh on the this is a one day okay right if you can tell we're testing right now at the 0.236 so if we break that right uh, there's no reason why we cannot go uh, back to the Ichimoku cloud and test around uh, the next area at around 7,600 area, right? So if we go back now and eliminate all this junk on here, right? Uh, look at the RSIs and stuff, right? So right now my MACD is telling me that it's, uh, it's crossed over and the histogram is in the, the uppers. Right, so uh, my other indicators now, my um, now my stock RSI is way over so uh um way over a bot right. So I do see some selling. Now it doesn't mean that it will, right? Uh, let me see, right? Because we're seeing it's you know it's topping off again. Uh, if you do look at it right. It kind of looks like it's there might be some kind of divergence uh, for it as well, right? Now I'm gonna zoom in a little bit more with just this part and actually see if we can find some kind of pattern right now, right? So if you look at this a little bit, let me uh, make it bigger. Yeah, so uh, some history on Budapest. It's 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 really touristy, guys. I mean, there's a lot of folks here especially the ratio for guys to girls it's like five guys to one girls i mean people uh there's like i think a um there's a couple of like the Bellaton festival which is like the music festival that's going on right now so it's it's going pretty crazy right now so if you can tell it it broke that uh, immediate trend line right because i was actually looking at this uh channel right here right kind of like this um this bear channel right so it definitely broke out at that so we don't need to worry about that anymore so what i'm doing right now is it seems like it actually wants to either man i don't know what they're doing All right it seems like it's uh, creating that uh, rising wedge again right depending on how of course you draw it right the rising wedge so i mean i expect it to topple right pretty much right around this area uh resistance it's about 68 um, right here, 6,900, maybe a touch, uh, could possibly touch in this area as well, 7,064. And then we'll probably most likely see it come back down again and retest support. Um, so support right now, I would say uh, a big support area is most likely going to be at around uh, 6,500. 6, so that's major support. So that's pretty much uh, it for Bitcoin on the one day. So if we take a look at the other time frame, right? Uh, let's take a look at the six hour. Uh, six hours is pretty much telling us the same thing, but just in a smaller time frame, as you can tell, right? The rising wedge is still uh, in play, pretty much. Just have to move some of it, right? So it's pretty much touching all of uh, mo most of most of it pretty much correctly, right? Uh, give me a second, all right? So as you can see, right, it's doing its thing. Right, so most likely it's going to come up here and then retag the uh, support area. So if we break resistance right at uh, 6,900, I do see us going next to. You know, we need to break uh, 7,100 again, and then we'll most likely test around this area 7,600. And then it is possible that we'll go up to uh, 8,000, so right around here. Um, but right now, you know, the selling pressure is showing me that um, most eventually uh, it's going to get squeezed out a little bit more. And uh, we'll see if it keeps continuing up. I mean, so far, there's a lot of good fundamentals going on. Uh, but again, uh, that's not to say that Bitcoin can have one more drop, right? Because it still has to, uh, based on the, uh, the previous chart, uh, there's still lots of room for it to still go back down, right? So uh, let's erase all of our uh, drawings and stuff.
Okay, so the Mac on the six hour, right? So it seems like it wants to cross. So it looks like this, let me see, take a closer look. All right, so it looks like the signal to, because you can see on the six hour, the histogram is going down now, right? So it looks like it's time. So six hour, it looks like it wants to sell, right? That's not to say that, um, you know, go ahead and do it, but that's what uh, I'm seeing right now. So let's see what our uh, RSI is telling us. So RSI is at 60, so not quite uh, over overbought yet. And then our stock RSI right on the six hour. So yeah, so it seems like our sell signal did cross uh, a while back, um, about five about five hours ago, yeah, three, no, about six hours ago is actually. Okay, so volume's still the same. Um, take a look at the four hour and then the one hour and then we'll call it a, call it a, a day, All right? Same thing, not really doing much. Uh, let's actually put in some of our other, other tools to see what else we can get. So based on what I'm seeing here right now, um, let's see. Right, so it's from the uh, previous higher low, seems like it's testing the 0.5 fib right now. So 6,700, so that's a pretty big, big area. So we draw lines again, right? It's pretty much doing the same thing. Right, so I feel like it's possibly, yeah. So if it doesn't, so we don't test. Um, okay, so we test here and break it. Yeah, we'll test this area. And then if we break that, we'll go back up to this area. Uh, about 7,000, between 7,000, you know, 100, 7,200 area. All right. Let's see, and then let's check out the one hour and then we'll Okay, so one hour, same thing, really. Yep, so look at it, one hour, same thing. It's just on a smaller time frame, that's all. all right. So it's doing pretty much the same, rising wedge. Uh, let's take a look at what the volume and stuff. Okay, so MACD. Okay, so the histogram is definitely uh, below below the zero. So our sell signal definitely uh, came in at around six you um, around six o'clock uh, Europe time. So I am in uh, Hungary. So that's two hours above London. Okay. Uh, RSI definitely um, it's telling us that okay. So the signal line did cross again, and then uh, it seems like it's actually half. Yeah, so it's up 45, so it's about evenly right now. So honestly, if you already, right? So if you were like, let's say shorting Bitcoin or longing Bitcoin, right? Um, I wouldn't really be shorting Bitcoin right now or longing because it could go either way. Now, if it does test the waters, right? So let's say for instance, it tests um, 7,200, and it reaches that high, I would definitely like, you know, I'm not saying you to do this, but for me personally, I would probably like, you know, put a short here. Or if we, uh, let's, see, let's go back to the one day time frame. All right. It's, it's funny that as soon as I do these uh, live videos, all the noise comes in. I mean, all the noise, it's, it's very noisy here, folks. So, I mean, it's a beautiful country, beautiful people, lots to do, but man, uh, I haven't really gotten good sleep here. I need to go buy some earplugs right now, right? Uh, because if you look at this, right, we still have major support here at 5,000. Uh, we break there, we still have support at 3,000, right? So, um, from what I'm seeing, right? 
Okay. And sometimes it doesn't want to work. Yeah, so that part already broke. So what I'm going to do actually is I'm going to I'm going to move this around a bit. All right. So we got one there and also we got one right here. I need to make this bigger. And depending on where you actually move your um how you draw your technical analysis, there's multiple ways to do this. Right. So that's one scenario. So that's actually another scenario right there. All right. So again, on the one day, we're still below the Ichi, Ichimuku, right? Okay. So that's one line, right? That's drawing right there. So let me make it uh, different, make it green. So, right. So that's one line. That's the top line. I mean, these are the bottom lines. These are the top lines. So as you can tell, this one already broke. So we can probably get rid of that one. So this is what I'm watching out for right now, right? The 8,000 area. Uh, I mean, if we don't break that, yeah, we'll easily uh, touch 5K again. So that's the update today for uh, Bitcoin, uh, right? And I'll have this posted on the Discord right now. All right, see your folks later.